Larry Elder. We are relieffactor.com studio. Going to discuss crime growing up here in California. Going to discuss whether or not Don Lamont should be in as much trouble as Chris Cuomo for Don Lamont's involvement. Heretofore unknown in the Jossie Smollett trial. What? Also, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has slammed LeBron James, not for saying after the death of Armin Arbery, black people are afraid to leave their homes. Didn't slam him for that. Not for saying that black people are literally afraid every day after the shooting of Jacob Blake. Not for that. Not for refusing to condemn China or the NBA for its abuses to the two million Uyghurs who are in relocation slap slash concentration camps, the suppression of rights in Hong Kong, the disappearance of the tennis star. No, 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 no. Didn't slam him for not referring to any of all that. Slammed him because he did a dance holding his soldiers after he did a game-winning shot the other day. Kareem said there's no reason to embarrass your opponents. Kareem has a column, by the way, in Time magazine. So the other things that LeBron James has said or not said, that didn't bother Kareem, but the dancing on the court, well, that tore it. We'll talk about that later on. Now, contrary to popular belief, not everybody working in Hollywood is conservative, but those who are, they got to keep it on the down low. I think I might have told you this story before. A, uh, a, a screen, a, a scene locator came to my house one day, a couple years ago, and said, we're shooting a film next door and want to use your property for catering services. Is that all right with you? So we negotiated a, a price for them to do that. And the film was one uh, featuring uh, Antonio Banderas. And um, what's the name of the woman who's married to... Um, the guy that played in uh, uh, Shampoo, uh, Handsome, Warren Beatty. What's her, what's her name? The one married to Warren Beatty. Anyway, she. You, I'll come up with it in a second. She was starring in the movie, Annette Benning. thank you, starring in, in, with Antonio Banderas. It, w- it wasn't a very good film. So they were shooting it next to, next, to my, uh, next to my house. And so I sat on my porch and I started watching the shooting. And the guy that runs a catering service comes up to the porch where I'm standing And he and I are starting to talk. Now, there's no way anybody could have heard what we were talking, but we were engaging in pretty animated discussion. He's a fan of my show. About six months later, I'm doing my radio show. He calls. He says, Larry, you remember me? And he describes. And I say, yeah, I remember. He goes, well, I haven't worked since I was at your home. I said, what? Yeah. People couldn't hear what we were saying, obviously. We were so far away. But the fact that I approach you and began to talk to you, indicated to them that I was probably one of those dastardly conservatives. I haven't worked since then. Give you another example. This was a couple of Christmases ago, and I'm at a Christmas tree place to buy a Christmas tree, and turns out a couple of the people that work there are actors. And they come to me, and they look to the left, look to the right, and they tell me how much they enjoy my show. And one of the actors recommended a tree that I thought was really a good tree and the price was 60 bucks. He said, go up there with my boss and settle up. By the way, my boss hates your guts. I told him you were here. He said he couldn't have given it, given a rip because he doesn't like your politics, but go up there and, and he'll, and he'll settle everything up. So I go up there and the boss charges me $80, not 60. So I went back to the actor and I told him, I said, I thought you said it was 60 bucks. He said, it is. I said, well, this guy wants to charge me 80. He said, what? So he went up, I couldn't hear what they were saying, but there was animated conversation. And he came back, and he gave me 20 bucks. And he said he shouldn't have charged you that. He was just jacking you because you're Larry Elder. <sighs> Give you a third example. I had a show called Moral Court about 20 years ago. It was a wonderful show, court show, best court show ever, in my humble opinion. Never should have gotten canceled. I go on to a long discussion about why I got canceled, but uh, that's for another day. And the guy who designed the set, and it was an amazing set. They spent a million dollars on the set. And I were talking. He happened to be gay. I only mentioned that because most gays are left-wing. He is one, too. And he said he was hired by the RNC to design the, the set for the RNC convention one year. And he agreed to do it. They paid him a good price, and he did it. The set was beautiful. 
And he said, for a long time, I couldn't get any work because people assumed that either I was a Republican for accepting the job, and I'm not, or that I should be ashamed of myself for working for a Republican to design their set. He said, I didn't work for a very long time. That's how tolerant and open-minded the people are here in L.A. And by the way, they're all left-wing. They're all, they're all liberals. And so when I hear people like Spike Lee go BMW about how racist Hollywood is, it's a joke. You can't find a place where there are more liberals per capita than Hollywood. In any case, not everybody is left-wing. And there is an animator who used to work for Walt Disney, did some work for Donald Trump's campaign. And he said, I am tired of our, watching our country go down the drain. And so he did a animation called It's a Woke, Woke World that's quite clever. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to It's a Woke World. If you're having difficulty making it out, it goes, it's a world of privilege in boats that are cramped. Welcome to Disney's re-education camp. So if your skin is white, it's time you're contrite. It's a woke world after all. 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 It's a woke, woke world. Destruction be our lot. We ourselves must be the authors and finishers. It's a world of power, a world of fears, and we work all days to make souvenirs. All the millions of thought and the weakers aside, it's a world world after all. It's a world world after all. It's a world world after all. Again, the lyrics are, it's a world of privilege in boats that are cramped. Welcome to Disney's re-education camp. So if your skin is white, it's time you're contrite. It's a woke world after all. Refrain. It's a world of power, a world of fears, as long as we work long days to make souvenirs. Although millions have died and the Uyghurs aside, it's a woke world after all. Refrain. There is a land where you once lived free as a capitalist pig of the bourgeoisie. We could eat till we're fat and would vote Democrat if we just get past that wall. We're all Marxists after all. It's a woke world after all. Call them all a bunch of communists, and I believe they are. And you'll be able to find it on YouTube uh, under Politizoid, P-O-L-I-T-I-Z, like zoology, O-I-D as in David, Politizoid. 